This is Le Petit Palais d'Aglais up in the French hillsides. You can just see up there a little bit of what I'm going to show you later. We'll just walk through the main area here. You can see the touches there with this beautiful chandelier which is all sparkly at night time. And we will just walk down through here. This is the main gate for you bringing your cars in so they are left securely which is great and the parking is free, which is a great bonus. We found that whilst we've been touring Europe, that you have to pay just about everywhere for parking. So this is the main building here, which is the reception building. You can see they also have um, electric bikes, which I would advise having a go on. We took them into the village. Um, it's a bit of a long trek, but with the being powered, it really helps you get back up that hill. So I'll take you around the side of this beautiful old building here. They have um, a log fire of an evening. So that's obviously where they get all their logs from. And then we'll just take you here into the glorious sunshine and to the beautiful views to take in. They are just breathtaking. It's so clean as well. The grounds are absolutely beautiful. This here is another one of the the buildings with all the rooms and you can see they have terraces or down here they've got their own seating area this is the um, beauty massage sauna area but unfortunately they shut down i was really looking forward to a nice massage but not being able to get one and then this fantastic scenery that you've got that goes for miles and miles down here you've got the Bowls. I'm from Yorkshire, I'd call it bowls, but you know what I mean. So we've had a game of that today, which is quite fun. And then I'll just take you across and around here. This building here is where you have dinner and breakfast. So you can see that your views are just fantastic and stretch for miles again. Our room is up there and I'll take you into that later. This looks like another room with the outdoor seating. So you really get to enjoy the beautiful luxury scenery around here. I'll take you down here so you can see a little bit more of the gardens. It's rustic and just beautiful charm. Just down here, they've got a couple of these little pods here with seats. There's three of them in total. So at night, or if it's a bit cold, you can just sit in there and watch the sunset just around here, which is absolutely stunning. Up there, you've got the pool, and I'll take you up there in a moment. Another garden area. I'm not too sure what that is. It's undercover, so I'm thinking that maybe it's just a relaxation point. And then if we go down here, down these little steps, you come to this area here, which is, by the looks of it, a massage area. So you can see there, you've got two beds. I don't know what time this would go on normally in, in the height of season, because there's obviously lights down here. There is a very pink theme here, as you can see, but great to have a massage here and, and just taking the beautiful views. Just a bit further down there, I won't walk too far, but if I zoom in there, that is their um, vegetable and fruit patch. So they do absolute fine dining here and that's obviously where they get all their beautiful food from. I'll take you back up here, back up the steps and I'll show you the, the pool area. It has been a little bit windy, but today it's a, a very beautiful day. So I should really be lying by the pool and not doing this, but I want to show you how amazing it is. So again, back up the steps. This would be, I think, a perfect venue for um, a wedding. I don't know if it's something that they actually do. But there's lots and lots of space. More rooms here. And then you've got a chill out area here. Pink is very much the theme and some more seats along here. This is obviously where they do the catering and 
have lunches in the height of season, but that's not on at the moment. And then this is the beautiful pool area with these random ducks. These are your beds. One thing I would say is these are probably looking a little bit tired. Now, whether it's because they're pink and the sun has taken the colour out of them, but these are around the pool every day. Got more seating area there. And these great bean bags. And a few more over there. So again, this is the beautiful view that you have whilst at the pool. And then up here, I guess in the height of season when it's red hot and you just want to get away from all that heat, you've got this sofa and chill out area. There is a bar here, um, but as we're here in September, it's um, shut down at the moment. Another stunning chandelier, but a really, really beautiful place to come. The village isn't too far, about 20 minutes bike ride I would say and just five minutes for you to go in the car but a great place just to chill out just to forget about everything that is going on a great place to eat really good food and great wine of course so I would definitely recommend this place this is where we're about to have breakfast in this beautiful dining area it's such an amazing place to come. This is your kitchen here, so any extras they make in here for you. So this is where all the food is, and you've got all your delicious cakes and breads. You've got an array of jams. These are all your fruit juices here, and more breads here. You've got your traditional croissants, of course, and homemade baked cakes, which look amazing. You've got a selection of fruit up here and then all your cereals along here. It's only a small place, so don't be put off that there isn't a lot of breakfast. It's just how it's set out, but the food is magnificent. And then in this fridge, you've got all your refrigerated meats and hams and your yogurts, which is nice because no flies get to go on them there. And then here's another area about to have breakfast. So this is where we'll be having our breakfast. And this is the view that we will be having our breakfast to this morning. Which isn't too shabby. This is something really unusual and really cool. And that is a cinema. So you have a proper cinema here, old school style. As you can see, all the great classics on the wall. And you just hire this out with reception and you get to have your own private little cinema viewing up here. Really good to touch. So if it is raining or it's a bit quiet or if on an evening you just want a nice cosy night together, a brilliant touch to watch something in the cinema. I'll take you into the main reception area and show you the room that we're staying in. So this is reception, really quirky area, and this amazing furniture runs throughout the building. So downstairs here, and this is the dining area, and also where you can hear sit in front of a roaring fire, which is stunning of an evening. Then we've got another area here with the beautiful panoramic views. So even when it's not a great day, you can just sit and relax. That's the breakfast area there. So there's only a few tables for the fine dining, but the food, we've not eaten here, but the food looks fantastic. All these quirky little effects around. Just really, really nice touches. So it's rustic meets kind of modern. This is your kitchen area here and your bar here. And then if we just go down here, I will take you into room 15, which is where we are staying. And this is the gorgeous room. So you get this big, huge bed and you can see it's a really nice size. 
big mirror there. But this bed is just so comfortable. You've got the same sort of furniture throughout and these cute lights. You've got matching little tables here. This is a really good touch actually. You don't have to have your bedding changed every day. If you don't want to have it changed, then um, you place the card on the bed and they won't change it for you. I'll take you through here. What's nice is you actually have a separate toilet, which is great when you're traveling with your partner. <laughs> it's a soft clothes toilet as well, which my boyfriend loves and I have to mention this every time I'm reviewing. And then in here, you have this fantastic bathroom. So even though it's very rustic in terms of the hotel, it's all real mod cons and you get your robes, which is lovely. You've got storage here. Randomly, this is where your safe is under the sink. Clean linens and there's a selection of toiletries. And this is a nice touch. You get um, his and hers toothbrush if you would like it. Then through here, it seems like you don't have any storage because this is where you keep your clothing. However, I'll show you something um, that gives you a little bit more storage. You've got your flat screen there and then this beautiful big window, which actually is a really, really nice surprise because as you go through here, you have this amazing room. So you've got somewhere to get ready. And this really, we weren't expecting this at all. This is a deluxe room as far as I'm aware. And it's like you've got your own little conservatory. It's really warm. In terms of space, that's what I was saying. So you might not feel as though you've got some space, but this is where we've been storing everything here. You've got your gorgeous seating area here and here. And we actually, yesterday when it was a bit colder, we sat and read a book and chilled out because it was a bit breezy. This is your views. So that's your view out there to the pool. And then you've got these stunning views out here. You can open the windows actually. Let some air in. And then this is what you see. I would definitely recommend coming here. It is peaceful, it is tranquil. The staff are really, really helpful, really friendly. I think we've come a little bit out of season because we've come traveling later, which is why things like the, the spa, although the sauna is actually open if you wanted to go in, but there are no massage facilities. Um, but the pool, pool is still open. The sun is still shining and you still have this fabulous view. So a big thumbs up for this place. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up.